Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'll be doing the CSEC Social Studies, May, June 2020, paper one. But if you're stopping by my channel for the first time, welcome. And please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so that you know when new videos are being uploaded. We post content often on this channel so that you can get prepared for your upcoming exams. Also, give this video a thumbs up by liking it so that it can reach as many students as possible. So let's get into this paper. Our first question says, in which of the following family types are cultural traditions passed from older members to children most easily? Well, we know cultural traditions that is usually passed on through our grandparents. And we know oftentimes cultural traditions such as like songs and ring games and so on. So our grandparents and that would fall on the extended family. So B would be your answer. Let's go on to number two. It says, Maxine Lewis lives with her unmarried mother and father. The type of union between our parents can best be described as? Now, we know that once it is unmarried, that is common law. So C would be our answer. Let's go on to number three. Number three says, which of the following statements best describes a conjugal family? Is it A, one or both parents may be absent from the home? B, offspring have become adults and have left home? C, family relationships are developed through marriage? Or D, family relationships are de developed through bloodlines? Now we know what's it, once it says conjugal, it have to do with marriage so c would be our answer so c let's move on to number four here it says which of the following family functions are parents performing when they insist that children show respect for the property of others we know that falls under the function of socialization so d would be our answer d right there let's go on to number five it says john simon and harry are cousins who live in the same house which of the following terms best describes their relationship well cousins so using the method of elimination d would have been out and uh, they are not pairs because it says cousins nor siblings so they would be relatives so c would be your answer let's go on to number six now it says in the caribbean today fathers have accepted more responsibility for child rearing mainly because of the we know it is because in our society today there have been mothers who have been working to help to support the family needs. So that is what is happening today mainly. That's the main reason why fathers have accepted more responsibility. In the past, mothers would usually stay home and be caretakers, but in this 20th century, things have changed. So D would be your answer. Seven says, research suggests that young people are influenced to use illegal drugs mainly because of, is it A, frustration, B, peer pressure, C, the generation gap, or D, dropping out of school. Now, when you see the word mainly, it, it is here implying or suggesting that these reasons in themselves could, could be one of the reasons um, suggested reason why young people are influenced but the main one the one that stands out among the, the, the this 
group of answers that they give you. So oftentimes, the main one would be peer pressure. Oftentimes, youths, because of their similar age group, they are being influenced to smoke, we see, get involved in smoking and drinking and so on. Let's move on to number eight. So number eight says, which of the following developments is most likely to result in conflict in the traditional family? Now, the answer for eight would be changing in the role of men and women in the family. C. So six and eight is somewhat connected. So let's go to nine. Which of the following is most likely to undermine the authority of parents in the home? A, setting and enforcing clear rules for conduct. B, inconsistency in rewarding and punishing children. C, giving cash allowances in adolescent family members. Or D, allowing children to participate in family decision making. Now the answer for this would be B, inconsistency in rewarding and punishing children. This has been a repeated question and we had explained in past videos why this would be the answer. So let's go on to number 10. It says, the type of care associated with the elderly is described as A, geriatric. Let's move on to number 11. Sorry about that. 11 says, Caribbean governments have improved the rights of children born out of wedlock by now the answer for 11 is c passing laws to allow them to qualify for inheritance c Let's go to 12. identify the order in which the ancestors of caribbean people arrived in the region one amerindians two east indians three Europeans, four Africans. So first we had the Amer Amerindians, then we had the Europeans, and then we had the Africans, and then last was the East Indians. So our answer would be for 12A. Let's go to number 13. It says, which of the following are characteristics of formal group one code of conduct two specific objectives three membership requirements this is another repeated question so we know it is all of them our answer is d let's go on to number 14. it says which of the following characteristics will ensure the survival of a group is it a solving problems as a group b group members dressing alike C, leader controlling group members, or D, individuals being independent in the group. We know our answer for this would be A, solving problems as a group. Let's go to 15. That's, that would make the group survive because there is a sense of unity, of coordination, working together to achieve the objectives of the, the group. 15 says, which of the following best characterizes a primary group? A, a large number, B, infrequent interaction, C, face-to-face -face interaction, and D, a common name or title. Now, this is another repeated one, so we know the answer is C. Primary group, they are usually smaller, so face-to-face -face interaction is what we know will take place. 16 says, which of the following are examples of folk ways? One, a man opening a door for a woman. Two, holding a value after the death of a person. Three, a bride wearing a white dress to her wedding. Now, we know that all of these that are mentioned are examples of folk ways. So D would be our answer. Let's go on to number 17 now. So item 70 to 18 refer to the following dialogue. Sita, when Marvin was group leader, he was always ordering us about. Paul, I prefer a group leader who allows members to do as they please. So the question for 17 says, the leadership style of Marvin as described in the dialogue above is, is it 
autocratic, democratic, charismatic, or laissez faire. Well, we know that a group leader are always ordering. That's an autocratic leader. They dictate, tell the individual what to do. They just lay it down as it were. They don't ask, get them involved in any decision. They just lay it down, so to speak. Let's move on to number 18. Paul's statement indicates that he prefers a leader with a style that is. Now, we notice when we go back here, it says, I prefer a group leader who allows members to do as they please. So right away, we detect that's a laser affair. D. Let's go on to number 19. It says, adolescents are most likely to influence each other in a positive way when they, when they become involved in guidance and counseling activities. So B would be your answer. Let's go to 20. Which of the following would not usually be associated with educational activities? A, rules and regulations. B, customs and traditions. C, transmissions of culture. And D, suppression of freedom. Now our answer for this is D, suppression of freedom. Let's go to 21. 21 says, which of the following is not a role of trade unions? A, collective bargain for workers' welfare. B, reporting negligent workers to management. C, monitoring the safety of workers at the workplace. Or D, educating workers about their rights in the job. So we know that is B, reporting negligent workers to management. That's not the role of a trade union. All the others are are rules of the trade union. So that's the one that is not. Let's go to 22 now. In which of the following countries is proportional representation used to elect the government? This is not a new question. So we know that the answer is A, Guyana. Let's go to 23. Which of the following documents do political parties in the Caribbean usually use to inform the public about their policies, promises, and programs? So we know that this one is in the manifesto B. Let's go to 24. The political party which forms the government in the first past the post system is the party that wins the most. Once we hear first past the post, we know what that is. A seats. Let's go to 25. 25 says, Caribbean countries where the Queen of England is the head of state may be described as, once we hear Queen, that is constitutional monarchies. C. 26 says, in the English-speaking Caribbean, the first court of hearing for criminal offenses is usually the we know, is it is it Court of Appeal A, B, Corona's Court, C, Court of Assizes, or D, Magistrates Court? We know that is D, the Magistrates Court. Let's go to 27 now. 27 says, the main function of a prosecutor in the judicial system is to, the main function of the prosecutor is really to, C, present arguments against the defendant. So C, would be your answer. 28. Which of the following are items of expenditure for a government? One, salaries for civil servants. Two, old age pensions. Three, customs duties. So our answer now would be, what would be your answer? It would be one and two only. A. Let's go to 29. A national budget has a deficit when expenditure is, is it A, equal to revenue, B, less than revenue, C, greater than revenue, or D, sufficient to finance development? Well, we know that is when the expenditure is greater than revenue. That's when a country has, budget has a deficit. Let's move on to number 30. It says, which of the following is not including 
in the written constitution of a country? This is not a new question. It has been a repeated one. So we know the answer is A, methods of taxation. Let's go to 31. Item 31 refers to the following table, which shows the population figures of four countries. So we have country 1, 2, 3, 4, and we're given the area square kilometer and the population, as you can see on your screen. So 31 says, which of the following has the highest population density? And we know for us to calculate the highest population density, it would be our area divided into our area square kilometer divided by our population. So when you, we have worked out this in previous papers. So we know that the answer for 31 would be B2. That country would be the highest population density. Let's go to 32. The term labor force is best defined as all persons who are. Now this question is a little bit tricky. So we, in the, in the answers that CHC present, we have to examine it so carefully. But looking at it, I recognize that C would be the closest to the definition of labor force. So this one, you have to, you know, give some thought to it in selecting the answer. So let's go to 33 now. It says, which of the following best describes a census? Now, a census. So looking at our option, D would be the best answer the counting of the population of a country and the recording of its characteristics. 34, the attractive conditions offered by some countries have influenced the movement of people from the Caribbean. These conditions may best be described as, is it A, brain drain, B, pull factors, C, push factors, or D, chain migration. Now we know that is B, pull factors. So attractive conditions. So that influence the movement of people from the Caribbean. So they're leaving the Caribbean, going into a better country. Pull factors. 35. So item 35 refers to the following graph, which shows birth rate according to gender for country Z. So there we have it. Now, this is not a new question. This has been a repeated one time and time again. So let's look at 35. From the data given in the graph, it can be concluded that the, this one is C, female birth rate reached its highest level around the mid-1970s because we know that the unbroken line is female, represents female, and the unbroken is male. And when we saw the peak here, so we know it's between the 1970s, there we have it, to the 1990s. So we know that our answer for 35 was from the mid-1970s. So let's go to 36 now. It says, which of the following contribute directly to a fall in the infant mortality rate, one improved nutrition, two, vaccination against diseases, three, development of high-income housing. Now, our answer would be one and two. So, so for 36, it's A. Let's go to 37 now. Which of the following is not a result of high population growth in a country? A, traffic congestion, B, increased immigration, C, development of slums, or D, increased demand on social services. Now, this would be B for this answer, increased immigration. 38, which of the following is based on exploiting non-renewable natural resources? So we know that when we're looking at 38, we know that fishing, lumbering, and hydroelectric power those are renewable resources. So the only one that is non-renewable would be C, bauxite mining. So let's go on to number 39. 39 says, 
wage of the fallen is most likely to result from rising levels of unemployment in a country. So we know that it would be the for 39, increased desire to emigrate, D, D for 39. Let's go to 40. Which of the following situation is likely to result from an increase in increasing immigration rate in a country? So is it A, brain drain, B, overpopulation, C, increase in job opportunities, or D, reduced pressure on social services? So our answer for this would be B, overpopulation. Let's go to 41. So 41 says, which of the following would play an important part in a government's efforts to increase consumption of locally produced food? Now from our answer options, our answer would be C, increasing the price on imported goods. This has been a repeated question as well. We have seen it quite a lot. Let's go to 42. An example of intra-regional migration is the movement of people. This question too is a repeated one. So the answer is D, Trinidad and Tobago to St. Lucia within the same region or area. So 43 says, which of the following are most likely to happen in a country where there is a high employment rate? One, greater demand for goods and services. Two, improvement in the quality of life. Three, an upsurge in criminal activities. So our answer would be A, one and two only. Let's go to 44 now. It says, which of the following factors is most likely to contribute to the development of the human resources of a country? A, improved road network. B, increase in the cost of living. C, increase in the minimum wages. Or D, improved educational opportunities. So the answer for this would be D. Let's go to 45. 45 says, which of the following groups of resources can be classified as renewable? Renewable. So A, forest, water, land. That's the one. A. Let's go to 46. Item 46 refers to the fallen pie chart, which shows the population of the revenue earned from industries in cargo. So we have a different we have different different sectors. We have petroleum, bauxite, manufacturing, tourism, and agriculture, fisheries, forestry. Okay, let's see what the question says. Which of the following statements is true about the information presented in the pie? chart now of all this information that is presented d would be your answer the mining sector earns more than the manufacturing sector so so here so bauxite is the same thing as mining so it earns more than manufacturing so all the others that they gave here is not true those are not true so you can look at it on your screen and you see the various information let's go to 47. most caribbean countries remain producers for primary products mainly because the answer is c they lack the means to process their resources this is not a new question either we have seen this one around two let's go to 48 which of the foreign factors may help the government of a Caribbean country to achieve sustainable development for its people? The answer for 48 is D. D. 49 says, which of the following shows the progression of Caribbean integration movements? So for 49, we had the Federation first, then CARIFTA, and then CARICOM. So B would be your answer. Let's go to 50. Which of the following factors hinders cooperation among CARICOM states? So we know for 50, it would be D, competition for foreign investments. So there you have it. Let's go to 51. So item 51 to 52 
refers to the following table, which gives information on the population for country X in 2017. So we have number of births, number of deaths, number of immigrants, and number of emigrants. So 51 says the natural increase in population for country X in 2017 was. So we know for us to find the natural increase, we would um, deduct the number of births from the number of deaths. So that's 28,000 subtract 15,000 from that. So we're left with B, 13,000. Let's go to 52. It says the net migration figure for country X in 2017 was. Now we know for us to find the net migration, we know it is the difference between the number of immigrants and the number of M and, and that of immigrants. So what's our number? So our number is 14,000. So 14,000 less um, subtract 8,000 from that. We are left with a 6,000. Let's go to 53 now. The highest authority of the Caribbean community, CARICOM is the, we know that's heads of government, conference B. 54. Which of the following is the most important aim of the trading arrangements within CARCOM? We know it is to improve economic development in the region. A. Let's go to 55. It says CARCOM countries need to pool their skilled human resources. The most likely results of such action would be A. B. Sorry, B a reduction in the need for foreign experts. So B would be your answer. Let's go to 56. Which of the following is the main reason for trade conflicts, which sometimes arise among CARCOM countries? That is D, competition for markets, when several countries market identical products. So D, your answer. Let's go to 57. 57 says, the CARCOM single marketing economy, CSME, was created to deepen the integration movement and to respond to the challenges and opportunities of, this is a giveaway, globalization. B would be your answer. Let's go to 58. If a CARCOM country, country imposes restrictions on CARCOM products, which of the following provisions is violated? Now, we know that it is a liberalization of trade. This has been another question that has been repeated. 59. Which of the following factors is intended to promote trade among CARICOM member states? We know that it is B, removal of duties on regional goods and services. B. And our final question says, economic integration as part of CARICOM's main objectives aims primarily to c accelerate development in car comp countries so c for 60. so there you have ha there you have it we have completed it. this entire solutions um to the csec social studies may june 2020 paper one don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you so much for